Dear learners, today we will teach you the unit 8 that is rules of replacements of the second semester. Now dear learners, you see in this unit we will cover the two basic points. These two basic points are rules of replacement and some solved examples of the rules of replacement. Dear learners, you see this unit not only introduced to you the rules of replacement but also the uses of the rules in case of formal proof of validity. It also provides us to go through some solved examples of the rules of replacement in order to know how the rules of replacements are used or applied to test the validity of arguments. Now, dear learners, you see what is rules of replacement. Dear learners, in the preceding two chapters like formal proof of validity and rules of inference, you have already come to know the formal proof of validity which discusses the concept life strategy for deduction, rules of inference including some solved examples of using these rules rules of replacement in a very brief manner, differences between rules of inference and rules of replacement, test of formal proof, general suggestion for formal deduction. However, they are unique. This unit will exclusively discuss the rules of replacement and also the application of the rules of replacements. They are learners, you see, in rules of replacement, there are 10 rules you will find, but there are many valid truth functional arguments whose validity we cannot prove by using only the 9 rules of inference. As for example, in order to construct a formal proof of validity for the following problems, rules of inference are not enough. Now, there are learners, you see A implies B, C implies not B, therefore A implies not C. There are learners, you see, to solve this kind of problem, some additional rules are required. With the help of these rules, we can replace any component of a statement by any other statement logically equivalent to the component replaced. For example, using the principle of double negation which asserts that P is logically equivalent to double negation P. We infer from A implies double negation B any of the following, you see, this one A implies B double negation A implies double negation B and also we can infer you see double negation bracket begin A implies B or A implies four double negation B by rules of replacement to make the ten rules definite. We list ten totals as logically true bioconditionals with which it can be used. These bioconditionals provide additional rules of inference to be used in providing the validity of argument. Dear learners, now you see what are the rules of replacements. Now you see in rules of replacements we find the rules like De Morgan's theorem, commutation, association, distribution, double negation and transposition. So, these are the rules of replacements. Now, dear learners, you see what is De Morgan's theorem. Now, you see dear learners, so negation P bracket begin P dot Q equivalence, then bracket begin negation P val negation Q. Again, you see dear learners, negation bracket begin P val Q equivalence bracket begin negation P dot negation Q. So, this is uh, nothing but the 
de Morgan's theorem. So there are learners, you see the another rule that is commutation, then association, then distribution, then double negation and transposition. So see there are learners. You see another rules of replacement, they are material equivalence, material implication, material equivalence, exportation, tautology. So these are the rules of replacement. Now they are learners, you see how can we apply the rules of replacement in case of uh, or in order to test the validity of argument. Now dear learners you see some solve examples for your understanding it is given here. Now you see bracket begin A implies B dot bracket begin C implies D therefore A implies B dot negation D implies negation C. So how can we derive the conclusion out of the premise like A implies B dot C implies D. So you see dear learners the argument or the conclusion that is A implies B dot negation D implies negation C. So this conclusion we derive from the premise 1 applying the rule transposition and in this way we can derive the conclusion A implies B dot negation D implies negation C. Now dear learners you see the second one that is E implies F dot Z implies negation H therefore negation E well F dot Z implies negation H. So dear learners you see how can we derive the conclusion out of the premise E implies F dot Z implies negation H. Dear learners we apply the rule equivalence in order to find out the conclusion negation E well F dot Z implies negation H. So dear learners, we apply the rules of equivalence. Now dear learners, you see the last one that is X val Y dot negation X val negation Y. Therefore, X val Y dot negation X back at close hell x hell y dot negation y. Here the learners we apply the rule that is distribution in order to find out the conclusion out of the premise. So these are the some sold examples of the rules of replacement. Now the learners you see So, what are the some basic points we discuss in the unit rules of replacements? Now, dear learners, you see, in order to construct formal proof of validity with rules of inference, we need some other rules, that is, rules of replacements, in order to find out a valid conclusion out of the premise. So you see, in rules of implacement, they are learners, we find 10 rules. So you see, in the rules of replacement, one side of the statement can be replaced with the other side of the equivalent statements. Already you have some examples, some solved examples of the rules of replacement. So they are learners, rules of replacement can be applied to a part of the statement 2 which is not possible in case of rules of inference because 
it says that or it implies that rules of inference is not sufficient in case of finding out or in order to test the validity of arguments and therefore rules of replacements are essential in order to find out the validity of arguments. Now, dear learners, in order to know more of the uh, rules of replacements or in order to know very in a comprehensive manner, you have to uh, read there are some uh, good books. These books are, uh, you can take Sanda Sokroboti's book that is logic, informal, symbolic and deductive. You can take uh, Arving M. Kopi's book that is symbolic logic. You also take Cohen and Kopi, introduction to logic. And these are the following some books you have to take for consultation in order to know more of this unit like rules of replacement. I think, dear learners, you have benefited to know about the rules of replacement that is unit number 8. Thank you.